we're at Action Rents and we're going to be renting a jackhammer for today's project we're going to be doing. Good morning folks, this is Daryl with The Dad Life, and I'm here with Pastor Mark McBride. And today we're helping the church Encounter City Church out. This is my home church, and uh, Pastor, why don't you give us a little blurb of what your vision is here. Okay, so we've been here almost five years, and one of the things that we knew we wanted to do was to update um, and kind of modernize the look of our building. Obviously, um, a lot of churches across America are built in the 70s and 60s and have that kind of a older look and A-frame construction and so you can't really change structure but you can do some little things to update and modernize. So what we wanted to do was we wanted to uh, change the look of our entry by switching out these columns that you can see here. They're kind of at a weird angle, I'm not sure why they did that. But um, I'm sure they had a reason and so we're going to be switching out these columns to a, a straight column that's built out and we're, we're going we're to have some stonework on the bottom and I think it's really going to modernize the look of the, the entry. And then in our second phase we're going to take the, the front doors and we're going to replace these old wooden doors with commercial glass with uh, side lights and so that will totally change the whole look and modernize the front entry of our church so that's kind of uh, uh, our, our plan and first phase to kind of update the look of this 70s church all right and if you guys are interested uh, the website to this church is www.encountercitychurch.com all right we're checking out right now So folks, we're at the lumber yard now. We're getting some material to build those columns. And uh, for the bottom, we're gonna use this, this half inch pre-cut just so we can build a base around it. And once we get that base built, we're gonna wrap that around with build, building paper. It's gonna be waterproof material. And then we can chicken wire, do our stucco, whatever we're gonna do, if we're gonna do a rock facade or, you know. But we're just doing the wood framing part. So we're back at the church and what we're going to have to do is temporarily support these columns. So we're going to run some temporary posts up to support this upper structure here before we start busting these bricks and the concrete out of these posts. 
because once we do that, that's what's going to be holding this roof structure together. So you want to temporarily do this. If for all you do it yourselfers out there, I wouldn't do this on your own. Definitely hire a licensed contractor to do this kind of work. Um, it's very dangerous. This roof can collapse at any time, and it's not something that a homeowner should take care of. It's something definitely that someone that knows what they're doing and does it every day, that's something that they should do. part of the building is sagging, so what we're going to do, I have a 20 ton jack here, we're going to actually lift this side of the building up. We use these to lift houses up, structural buildings, anything needs to be lifted up, it has a lot of weight bearing on it. As you can see, we got this one already broken up. Luckily, there wasn't a whole lot of concrete in there. A lot of times, these boxes like that are completely filled with concrete and rebar. And this was just put together probably by some homeowner back in the day, some old timer. And uh, we're going to make it definitely a lot stronger than it was, that's for sure. I like it already. Like three times bigger than they needed to be and they just, yeah. they just closed in the front. This is a concrete drill. Now that we've got the concrete busted out and everything, we're going to put post caps in that are going to support our our four by four posts that are going to be holding up this structure right here. And uh, that's going to lock down the bottom post, and then we have post caps and post bases. So what Daniel has in his hand there, those are post bases. 
is going to be locked down with a concrete bolt that goes in the concrete. And this drill right here drills a half inch hole in the concrete to be able to lock down the concrete bolts. And those uh, post caps are going to go on the top beam there and lock everything together so it makes it nice and secure. Just like that. This right here is called a plumb bob. What you do is you basically get a chalk line or a piece of string or something and you hook it up on here. You run it to where the center of your post is going to be and drop it down and they'll stop where, where the center point is. And that's where you're going to drill your uh, concrete bolt. In every trial, through times of pain, your promises have still remained. My heart finds hope within your name. So you want to do one post at a time. You don't want to do them both at the same time because right now it's just these things that are holding up this whole structure. You knock these out, this thing's going to collapse. So you want to make sure that while that's secure, plus we got to lift that side up after this one's done. So that's why we're doing this side first. And we're using uh, four, four and a quarter wedge anchors that are half inch wide. And this is just plenty fine to hold those post bases. So this is a, a Simpson PT27. It's a concrete, uh, basically a concrete hammer, pneumatic. It takes little shots just like you would like a firearm. And it takes three inch concrete nails. And you, what you do is you cock it like that. And you stick it in there. Definitely wear safety glasses, gloves, if you're not a professional. And what we're doing is we're locking this down. We're building a little base. And then we'll run our posts up little framing studs and we're going to build a box it's going to be certain high and then that'll get wrapped with plywood and wrapped with stone and that'll give you a nice faux facade uh, which is going to look really beautiful when it's done All right. yep just show you how it's done this is what it sounds like What we're doing now is basically we got our base covered and we're just nailing now the top piece in. I'm going to get some nails in there and we're going to end up putting a board on top of here all the way around so we get the same as what's on the base. Then we can run our studs up and down and then we can nail our plywood on. Daniel's measuring for the studs, what they're going to be. This is basically what it looks like before the studs go in. And then it goes like that. Just a side note here. Uh, we use pressure treated wood on the bottom base sitting on the concrete. And the reason for that is pressure treated wood doesn't rot. If it does, it takes many, many, many years for that to happen. And this is code and we want to make sure that everything's code. You never want to have regular wood of any kind really sitting on concrete unless it's pressure treated. Well, that concludes part one of this video. This right here is what everybody fails to realize. There's always a mess to clean up when you're done. You can see we got the columns all wrapped up and everything. We got the paper on there. We got the waterproof right on the top. Everything's level, ready to go for stone. And we're gonna wrap this with a nice, probably a knotty pine or something that'll get stained or a tight knot cedar. And uh, that's about it. It's been a long day. Ready to call it. And 
move on to the next thing. I uh, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you like what you see, you can hit the subscribe button and you can hit thumbs up, and leave comments if you like, and look forward to filming the next show. Hope you liked it. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.